How about this? Mm. I like this one better. I was thinking of you. in Israel. My wife, Saskia von Rhein. No wonder you're famous if you can control the children of Amsterdam. Who knows what would have happened to that boy if you hadn't stopped him. What's the meaning of this, running wild in the streets, frightening the neighbors? We didn't mean to, ma'am. We were just having fun. No harm done. I expect more from my son. Your son? Samuel Ben Israel, at your service. Or should we call you Hamel? Wicked advisor to King Ahasuerus, at your service. Oh, you were play acting on a way to the synagogue. It's the festival of Purim. The children reenact the story <laughs> of how Esther saved the Jews from the wicked Haman. Well, you were very convincing. <laughs> Samuel is a great one for play acting. You've got him perfectly. No, no, it is not permitted. A rabbi may not be portrayed in graven images. It's a commandment. Gone. No harm done. Well, we should be getting to the synagogue. Happy Purim. Purim is the happiest festival there is. of looking at his face. Mm -hmm. Look at him. How many self-portraits can you do? Rembrandt with a hat. Rembrandt without a hat. Rembrandt in fur. What's with the fur? What's with the hats? I do want it. When I have my own studio, no fur, no hats. I have made you an offer. Yeah, don't think you can inflate your price by bargaining. 
You're not the only portrait artist in Amsterdam. Just the best. Hello, my dear. Hello. You talk some sense into him. Never try to talk sense to a hungry man, Captain. Have one of my special biscuits. Oh, thank you. My wife is a unique cook. Ah. Uh, just cheese for me. Good. Aren't they? Think about it. What offer? One of the group portraits for the militia's new assembly hall. <laughs> That's a feather in your cap. Bunch of men standing around admiring themselves. Some of the most important men in the city. The same kind of portrait I've been painting for years, only bigger. Where's the challenge in it? I'm sure you could find a way to make it more interesting. Consolation prize. Well, I had to buy something after losing the Raphael. You bid on it too, didn't you, Vanderhaus? 3,500 guilders for a portrait of a minor Italian nobleman? That's twice as much as I'm getting for a militia group portrait. Yes, I'm supposed to do one too. But how do you make it different? Give them what they want. Give them what they want. It's probably what Raphael had in mind when he painted Balthazar Castiglione. A magnificent addition to your collection. After some spirited bidding, uh, you didn't come away empty-handed. All part of the fun. Did you enjoy the auction? The golden goblets from the temples of the Aztecs were amazing. And the shell collection. My uncle sent me some just like them from Brazil. I'm gonna go to the New World myself one day. Your future is here. Now my son must put aside such foolish ideas. And when Samuel becomes bar mitzvah, he will accept that the good of our community comes before his own selfish interests. Your good, you mean? We must become leaders and teachers. And does that mean he can't be curious about the rest of the world? And you yourself are famous for your breadth of interest, Rabbi. That's different. And if anything, I'd say Samuel has inherited your inquiring mind. He can be more inquiring after he's done what's expected of him. I'll let Samuel come visit my studio. He's a reward for his studies. My collection is smaller than the one we just saw, but there are a few treasures that might interest you. Please, Father. Thank you. I'll expect you then. Big, too perky, too purple. Mm -hmm. uh, too feathery. No, no, not big enough. This one? No. Stiglione. Are you going to copy the Raphael? No. I'm going to do a self-portrait in the style of Raphael. Oh. So you start by getting in the mood? It's like a dare. This is a copy of Ariosto by the Italian master, Titian. You notice anything? They're in the same pose. Right. Raphael did his painting in the same manner to prove he was better than Titian. And you're going to do yours to prove you're better than both of them. Mm -hmm. Big deal. Anyone can draw a picture like that. Maybe I'll do one myself. A leopard skin from Africa. <laughs> can you imagine eating a snail this big? 
And over here, we have... a leftover biscuit. Ah, Captain. You wouldn't know anything about this, would you? No idea. Now, a simple yes or no. That's all I want. Bartholomeus van der Helst is more than happy to take the commission if you're not interested. Van der Helst, that hack. <laughs> His first militia portrait has created quite a stir. He's as dull as ditch water. He's highly overrated. <laughs> I agree. All the more reason for you to demonstrate what a real artist can do. All right. But not because of van der Helst. If I take this on, it's to reinvent the group portrait. Well, let's not get carried away here. Or you could go elsewhere. I'm not ready to do that. Yet. Anyone for a piece of hot apple tart? No, thanks. I have work to uh, finish up in the... Uh, okay. Studio. Uh, studio. Mm, me too. My goodness. I've never seen them so eager to return to work. Rembrandt. <laughs> you agreed to do the militia portrait. You deserve a double portion for that. You shouldn't tire yourself out baking all the time, not in your condition. I'm fine. I hope our son isn't a worry more like his father. <laughs> or a liberty gibbet like his mother. Or a spendthrift at auctions. Or a man who loves his wife too much and lets her lead him around by the nose. You do not. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Shoe? You said I can visit the maestro studio. Not for the whole day. I came here instead. We're behind in our print order. Nothing. Nothing is more important than your Torah studies. So no more visits to the Van Rijn studio, no more hiding out here in the printing shop until I am satisfied with your bar mitzvah text. We're never satisfied. How would it look? The rabbi's son stumbling through the most important ceremony of a boy's life. It's all you care about. How it would look. It's not my fault you're in trouble with the other rabbis. Who said that? Everyone knows you can't keep your temper. That's why they don't want you in Brazil. You're too hard to get along with. That's enough. And now you're taking it out on me. I said that's enough. While you're living in my house, you will obey me. Is that understood? Yes, Father. Agreement. When I went to wake him for morning services, his bed was undisturbed. It could have been any time. Samuel has disappeared. You haven't by any chance seen the boy? Um, I was in the studio too late. Well, better to check closer to home, forecasting the net wide, huh? I'm sure he'll turn up safe and sound. Well, I'm sorry to disturb you. Good luck. Is 
Samuel didn't seem like the kind of child to run away. Such a clever boy. Maybe too clever for his own good. What's that supposed to mean? Only that one never knows what goes on in someone else's house. Do you know something? Not exactly. Samuel and his father don't seem to be on the best of terms. All right, I might have seen him on the Breestrat last night. Which way was he going? Towards the harbor. That's no place for a 12-year-old boy. A runaway doesn't have a lot of choices. There's an uncle in Brazil. There's nothing Samuel would like better than to join him in the new world. Well, you have to tell Manasa. I can't. I promised. How would you feel if he was our son and someone else did nothing? Uh, excuse me. Uh, looking for a boy about uh, that size. I saw one over there. Ah. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> oh, thank you. Samuel? Samuel? Well, you might as well come out. I know you're there, Samuel. What do you want? Make sure you're all right. I'm fine. You sure you can trust these people? That merchant over there sold you out for a single gilder. Then I'll stow away. There are other ships. I'm going to Brazil, and no one's going to stop me. Things really so bad at home. Everyone thinks my father is so wonderful. So wise and such a good speaker. An expert on everything. Well, you should try being his son. It's impossible. I'm never right. I can't do anything without him saying how stupid that was. Or how much I disappointed him. Or how much more I have to work to live up to what he expects. Well, everybody feels that way about their father sometimes. I don't want to be a rabbi. I want to go into business with my uncle. I don't want to be anything like him. Well, you can't stay here. Saskia will disown me. What if I talk to your father? What good will that do? You didn't see how worried he was. Don't trust me. We can work something out. I think you understand our traditions. Thank you. It is the duty and the privilege of a rabbi's son to become a man of learning. Well, not everyone is cut out to be a scholar. I was 14 when they sent me to university at Leiden. I quit after a month. And uh, broke your father's heart? No. He recognized I had to become an artist. I have to admit, I haven't done too badly following my heart. Samuel is no artist. I mean, how am I to teach the other children of this community if my own son won't obey the commandments? Honor thy father. You'll lose him, Manasseh. A disrespectful, disobedient son is no son at all. Well, just so you know, he's determined to go to Brazil. I'll keep him in my household until he can arrange safe passage. And how am I to explain why my son is living in a Gentile household? Tell them he's a studio apprentice. That should save your reputation. I'll pay you the hundred guilders that you charge your other students, of course. That's one thing he's inherited from you, your stubbornness. Don't look at me. Turn. Turn your body. And. Perfect. Hold this. Do 
Mr. We're Sammy with the helmets. Hold this. Put your hand over. Perfect. Now hold still. Perfect. I'm finished. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. How's he doing? That bad. Mind sharing space with my hand press. At least you'll have a little privacy. I'm sorry I'm causing so much trouble. What's this? It's you. Like the Titian and Raphael. Baldessaric is to You finished it. Way too much ink. Can't trust him with the simplest job. This can wait till tomorrow. Good night, Samuel. Good night. Who's responsible for this? And who did this? Stop looking for his talent. He's a master printer! <laughs> Reutenberg gets to wear yellow. Vischer says he's wearing silk brocade. And Kemp is all decked out in armor. Now, I'm going to look like a crow in a flock of peacocks. Trust me, you'll be the focus of the picture. I'd better be for what I'm paying you. When do I see some drawings? Walk. I can't expect my men to plunk down 100 guilders each without knowing what the portrait is going to look like. A preliminary sketch, just the composition. There isn't one. But there are 18 men. The politics are very delicate. All taken into account. Hold it right there. That's brilliant. Gotcha. What'd he do? Made him feel important. He's got a meeting from his hand now.
Maestro? Maestro? <laughs> oh, look! You gotta have one. My uncle has arranged passage for me to Brazil. The ship will be here in two to three months. So soon. I mean, you're just getting the hang of things in the studio. My uncle says that if I'm as stubborn as my father is, there's no point in me staying around to embarrass the family. Two, please. I want to go to Brazil a hundred times more than I want to be a scholar. Rembrandt's so pleased with your work. You could stay on with us. Maestro. Bye-bye. I thought I might have seen you at the synagogue. Get my sermon. For the Queen of England and her daughter Mary during her visit to Prince William. Congratulations. I thought it went rather well. Of course, it might only be curiosity on her part, but my sermon might have convinced her to reopen the gates of England to the Jews. Her son is also full of accomplishments. You want to know? You must miss him at the printing press. He has the makings of a fine printer. As my lazy assistants certainly miss him. Saskia's very fond of him. She'll be disappointed if you don't say hello. Good day, missus. Oh, Rabbi. Excuse me. This is so undignified. Uh, no, no, not at all. You look lovely. Thank you. No, well, everyone's been so helpful, especially Sam. He won't let me carry a thing. Well, may you be blessed with a healthy and dutiful son. Shalom. Rembrandt, I want to go home. He always spoils everything. I think the baby's coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to name him Titus. After your sister. She'd have liked that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She can't see anything that far away. No, but you can. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wow. You're fidgeting. All the other militia captains get to see what their portraits will be like. Now you're whining. Vanderhelst has already finished his painting. It's hanging in the militia hall. Now you're comparing my work to Vanderhelst. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> because I've seen his portrait. And if you're willing to settle for that, then I'm wasting my time here. Well, not me. But some of the other men want to cancel the commission unless they can see what they're paying for. I can paint them out. No one gets to see the portrait until it's finished. Now stand still. Who are all those other people? How would you feel if you paid good money and a complete stranger got a bigger picture than you did? Well, it would look stupid if there were only 18 men in a militia company. Rembrandt makes it look real, like they're marching out to do something. So what, is it a group portrait or a history lesson? Why can't it be both? <laughs> They're magnificent. They're blooming today, just like Titus's cheeks. Don't get up. I want to see them. Put them in the vase, please. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I could read something to you if you like. No. Oh. Heavens no, I'm feeling much stronger today. Get on with the captain's commission before he completely loses hope. If you're sure. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Go. <laughs> That was foolish. Don't you dare tell him. Either of you. He's got to finish the militia portrait. It will keep him popular. Steady, man. She hardly eats anything. Speaking of eating, how long is she gonna keep us here? She's getting worse and worse. She hardly gets up. And that cough. The cough is no good. Lift it up. Art. The banner. We've been at it for hours, Maestro. Can we please get something to eat? Yes. Off you go. You need something to eat, too. I'll be down in a minute. There's so many pictures of her. Was Saskia your model? I was living at her cousin's house. Uh, he was an art dealer. We were partners. She wouldn't have anything to do with me. I was far too serious for her. That's when she agreed to marry me. God will keep her safe and the child healthy. I'm praying for her, too. What's that? Well, I know your father doesn't believe in graven images, but it was a great challenge to capture that case. He stares right through you. He sees more than most people, except when it comes to you. You're too close for him to see who you really are. Not anymore. I was hoping this afternoon you might work things out. Don't worry. I'll be off your hands as soon as my ship docks. Forever. That's not what I meant. Listen, you got a big painting to finish and a new baby to look after. The last thing you need is a charity case. Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kitshadnu bemitzvotav vetivanu lehadlik nerem, shal shabbat. Could you 
Would you sacrifice Titus because God said so? I hope he would never test me so severely. My father would leap at the chance. Surely not. What are you studying? The Torah. Genesis 22. It was supposed to be my bar mitzvah text. God tests Abraham's faith by demanding he sacrifice his son Isaac. His own father tied him up like a sheep. How do you think Isaac felt? He had to trust his father. Abraham had to trust God. And their faith was rewarded, wasn't it? God sent the angel to redeem Isaac and promised his blessings on all Abraham's children. But what about Isaac? How could he ever trust his father again? Your father loves you. He doesn't act like it. Well, I could eat a whole chicken. <sighs> Try the biscuits. It's perfectly safe I didn't make them. <laughs> Take him to his nurse. Saskia needs some rest. Reconcile him with his father? Short of locking him in the same room, yes. I'll get the doctor. So lovely, wasn't she? I suppose this will set Rembrandt back a bit. On the portrait as well. You could say that. It's nearly finished, isn't it? Oh, you've seen it then? Oh, yes, of course I have. Never seen your hand still, Maestro. I am sorry for your loss. No matter how many times I painted her, I, I never really captured her soul. She had her own special light. Couldn't accept she was sick. I could have gotten better doctors. I'm sure you did all you could. I hid up here. Could have spent more time with her. She knew you loved her. Anyone could see that. It's my fault. I wanted children. This grief will pass, my friend. Take comfort in the son who needs you now. As you do with Samuel. We 
can't always follow our own good advice. At least you could profit from my mistake. I want my wife back. What are you doing here? You didn't care about Saskia. You hardly knew her. She was a good woman. They are neighbors. You just want people to know you're friends with the famous painter Rembrandt. I... I also hoped we would talk. So that I could apologize. I won't. I don't want you to go to Brazil. I may never see you again. You have nothing to say about it. What are we gonna do? Finish the portrait. Art and me. Rembrandt has abandoned his work. Do you see any other way to save the commission? ignoring Titus. I can't bear the sight of him right now. It's not his fault. He didn't do anything but be born. And now he's lost his mother and his father. He's well looked after. How do you know? You wouldn't let me run away. Well, you can't either. Fathers have a duty to their sons. If you won't look after him, I will. Take a baby to Brazil. I promise, Saskia. Fathers make mistakes, too. Sometimes you have to forgive them. challenge our master one day. You're ruining it. You've got to stop changing things. You're here. See, you've been busy while I've been gone. There was no other way to save the commission or the reputation of the studio. At first, I wondered why you didn't show this to me. Technically, it's quite good. But you see what's missing, Gerard? 
lacks proportion. What are you talking about? That's perfectly to scale. Your sense of proportion, as an artist. You have all the ambition of a grandmaster without understanding the first thing about the soul of a picture. Soul? You think a militia company wants soul? They want prettied up versions of themselves to brag about and show off to their friends. You deliver that, your day is finished. I wish you a long and successful career. Your apprenticeship with me is finished. The captain says you have until tomorrow, or I'll cancel the commission. And let's get to work. Today's the day. Your ship leaves with the tide. You sure you want to go? Well, you better pack then. Enough of being put off. My company is the laughing stock of the entire city. I demand to see my portrait now. Close your eyes. Why? Because you should see it from the best point of view. But, but. Open. <sighs> I look wonderful. Oh, my, my. My, my hat, my, my sash, my, my mustache, it's blowing in the breeze. Oh, and the colors, they're so vivid, they, they glow. The entire company looks like they're marching off the canvas. You see its soul. <laughs> the very essence of civic duty. And just one tiny little question. Who are all these other people? Samuel. For me? It's from your father. Say goodbye before you leave, all right? Dear Samuel, Today, I hoped we would stand together on the bima to celebrate your bar mitzvah. Instead, my stubborn pride has robbed us both of this sacred moment, and you will become a man without me. Like Abraham, I am afraid, but I must have faith that God will restore you to me. One day, you'll understand what it is to be a father and find it in your heart to forgive my mistake. Today in synagogue, I will celebrate the day you were born and rejoice in my love for you. Shalom, my son.